So how do you use the browser extensions on an iPad? Let's get started and let's explain it. So if you're new on the Fox Tech channel, most definitely subscribe so you never miss videos like this one. Well, it depends on which browser you use because on the Safari web browser, there are the extensions available to be added, right? So the best way by me or in my opinion is to go to the settings app where you go to the apps and specifically check out the Safari settings within the main settings app. And in there, you get to pick some different options, part of which is the extensions right there. So you can manage your existing extensions, but if you want to add some additional ones, you have the ability to click on more extensions and open up a like app store, dedicated app store page where only apps with Safari extensions are going to show up, right? So when you install these apps right here, they come with the extensions for Safari and you can add those, manage it. But again, it's only within Safari. I know for a fact that a lot of people enjoy using Google Chrome extensions, but the Google Chrome web browser doesn't feature them on the iPad. If you want to still get access to those Chrome extensions, we can technically get around that using a browser, which is called Orion browser. In there, you can get inside. It's like a whole separate app, which you need to download from the app store, of course. But when you get inside, you can go to the three dots, tap on the settings and check out the uh, section, which is called advanced, right? And in the advanced, you have the ability to install Chrome extensions as well as Firefox extensions. So when you enable it like this, then you'll be able to access those extensions, which are a part of your Google account, but you have to be signed in to the Orion browser, right? Uh, I have like another video where I cover it like in depth, so make sure to check it out, but that's going to be about it. That's how you can use extensions on browser on the iPad. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Stay tuned by subscribing and I'll talk to you later in the next tutorials in the future.